We're looking at question 9a from the May 2024 CSET Mathematics paper. As usual, remember, you must try the question before you work out, you, you watch the um, working of the solution. Remember, if you're not subscribed to the channel, remember to subscribe. Also, share the video with somebody. Now, here, it says V, X, W, and Z. <coughs> so, those are four points that they're talking about there. You have V, X, W, no, V, X, Y, and Z. V, X, Y, and Z. Lie on the circumference of the circle shown below. Center O. So this is the center. With diameter V, Y. Okay, so from V to Y. Alright, diameter. U, W. Where is U? U, W. Is a tangent to the circle at V. That means it's a straight line that touches the circle at V. Angle VXZ. That's VXZ is 62 degrees. And angle XVY, XVY is 18 degrees. Okay, good. This is state a theorem that justifies the value of each of the following angle. That B is 62. <coughs> you say B is 62. How would you know? How would you know that B is 62? Alright, guess what? If you consider the card. ZV. There is a theorem that says the card, the, the angle, the angles that lie on a card are subtended by a card in the same segment are equal. So you have this angle. Same card. Z, this line on it, it will be equal to this angle. It will be equal to this angle. It will be equal to this angle. It will be equal to this angle and so on and so forth all right all of those angles are equal so the fact is that b would be equal to 62 degrees we have to make sure you make a note that b is 62 degrees because both ang angles v x z which is a 62, an angle VYZ lie on the same card VZ and are in the same segment. And remember what is meant by segment. This card VZ, it cuts the um, circle into two parts. You have over here on this side of it, and then you have over here into two segments. Two segments, alright? So, these angles are in the same segment so they are equal all right so that's what you have to do <coughs> let's get rid of the, these things not to make the diagram too overcrowded after that what happened they say angle c is 124 so this angle c they say is 124 how do you justify that? Alright. 
Now remember, you have a certain circle theorem. So you have that circle. And you have the center. You have this card. Alright. Then you have an angle that lie on that card at the center. You also have an angle lying on the card at the circumference in the same segment. If this angle is x, what would this angle be? Have to remember that. Now, one particular example of that happening is where you have a circle, you have a center, and you have a card here going through the center, which we call the diameter. And then you have this card lying on the diameter. This angle up here would be 90 degrees and this angle would be 180. So the angle here, oh, let me draw the angle on the other side. I should um, <coughs> have drawn it on the other side. Right? So here now, right? This angle is 180, right? And as you bend the angle and the card comes more down here, you get smaller, what this gets smaller too. But what you will find is that while this is 90, this is 180. So whatever this angle is, this angle at the center is twice it. So if this is x, this would be 2x, right? <coughs> now, the thing is, when you look at this diagram, you have this card, ZV, and you have this angle that lies on the card at this center. I'm going to redraw this. This angle lies at the card at the center. And you have another angle that lies on the same card, but at the circumference in the same segment. Right? Now, here. What you will have is that whatever this is, just like how this is x and this is 2x, right? Whatever this is up here, the 62, this will be 2 times 62. What is 2 times 62? 2 times 62 is 2, 2 is 4. 124. So it explains why that is 124. Alright? We have to write down the explanation here. Okay, so that was question 9A1A and 9A1B. <laughs> oh boy. Let us look at the next part. This is now 9A1C. At angle OVW is 90 degrees. Angle OVW. Interesting. OVW is 90 degrees. Where's OVW? OVW. Okay. So they're saying that this angle here is 90 degrees. All right. This is because, of course, OV is the radius of a circle and VW is the tangent to the circle at the point of tangency. Now, at the point of tangency means wherever the tangent touch this, touches the circle. So, both of them meet at that point. So, therefore, 
the, this angle is always 90 degrees. So that's another theorem there. So you would have to explain why that is 90 degrees. All right. Now, part two. We say, find the values of A, D, and E. Showing all working, show all workings are appropriate. Angle A. All right. We want angle A. What is angle A? <coughs> we know that this is 124. Um, yeah, this is 62. All right. Angle A is this. Right? So, we're supposed to find out what that is. Alright, so, let's see if you can figure out how we're going to deal with it, angle A. What you can do is look to find a new angle that wasn't there before. And then see if that could help you. Alright? Now, we know that this is 124. All right. Guess what? You see ZO and VO. You know what they are? They are radii of the same circle. That means they must be equal. Right? So therefore, angle VOZ, no, triangle VOZ is what type of triangle? It's isosceles, right? So this angle is the same length as this angle. I mean, this side is the same length as this side. Now, if you have this here as D, then this must be also D, <coughs> all right? Now, let's find D. And see if we can use that to help us find A. Now, we know that this angle D is not this question we're doing now. We finished with this question already, but we want to be able to see the angles, the diagram, while we're working. And the, ang the question that we're really answering is way over here. Alright? So let's answer it over here. D plus, and then you have the other D. What is the same, same value? Plus 124 add up to 180 degrees, right? See that? Now, what you have here is 2D. Equals, suppose you subtract 124 from both sides. 180 minus 124. What is 180 minus 124? Let me use my calculator. 180 minus 124 give 56. 56 degrees. So D would be what? You divide by 2, 56 over 2. What is 56 over 2? That is 28 degrees. So these 28 degrees kind of look like 280. 28 degrees, alright? So that is D. Now guess what? You see this? is a tangent to the circle and this is a radius. And both of them meet at the point of tangency. So this angle, all of this is you remember what it is? 90 degrees. Now, if all of this is 90 degrees, how we do? We go 90 and then take off 28 from it. So that angle is 90 minus 28. So in finishing off, you're going to say 90 minus 28 equal. <coughs> Um, let me see now, 90, if you drop 20 from 90, you go down to 70, 70 minus 8 gives you what, 62, so it's 62 degrees, alright, 
So that angle is A equals 62 degrees. Let me just write it down here. What else I said? B, D, D angle D. Now, um, angle D. Oh, this. Yeah, we found it from before. You could do the same calculation again. And say, um, since, it's an, since VOZ is isosceles triangle, then angle OZV is equal to angle OVZ equal D. Make sure you write down everything and you know, fill up the space with the writing. Show all working, right? And then you put this again, D plus D equal, plus 124 equal 180 and do this and you'll get 28. So D would be 28 degrees, all right? After that, E. They want E. All right, so let's erase some of these things that we have. So now, they want E, this angle. E. Um, how could you get E now? Let us see. Oh, guess what? You see, this um, this triangle. Let's concentrate on this triangle. All right. You know this angle, 62. So you can see that. That is 62, alright? What is this angle here? Well, we have part 18 and the other part 28. So, angle um, x, v, z is equal to 18 plus 28. 8 times 16, we know the 6 square 1, 214. So it's 46 degrees. So this angle here is 46 degrees. Alright? Um, what we could do here now is say, we want all of this angle. So, 180 total angle in the triangle. You take 62 off. That's this 62 here. Take that off. And you take off this 46 and this 46. Right? It's going to give you what remains. Angle X or angle V Zx is going to give you angle VZx. So angle VZx equals what? It's going to be 180 minus 62 minus 46 equal 72. So this is 72 degrees, all right? You see that? Make sure you see it, you know. And then after that, we want E. So we're going to take off D. So E would be the 72 degrees minus D. What was D again? 28. So it's 72 minus 28. So you minus 28 from 72, you get 44 degrees. So E would be 44 degrees. Right? This was 28 degrees. This is 44 degrees. Okay. So that's what we have for question 9A. We'll continue looking at question 9 in our next video.